Prefilling a document in DocuSign means that your sender will receive a document already filled out with the information you already have on file. There's two ways to do this. You can either do it manually directly on the DocuSign website, or you can do it by using integrations. This means that the DocuSign template will pull data from wherever you have it stored, whether it's your CRM, ERP, spreadsheet, or whatever else, so that you don't have to do any data entry. Let's get into it. And before I forget, my name is Sofian Saudi. I used to be a DocuSign consultant back in the days in Australia, Sydney. Since 2020, I've founded SolarSign Consulting, an agency that helps organizations drowning in paperwork automate all their document workflows. If you deal with lots of paperwork, you can save a tremendous amount of time if you set up automation correctly. For example, you can create those envelopes completely automatically by pulling data from a CRM like Salesforce inside of your DocuSign template to create ready-to-sign documents. You can also automatically track the status of those envelopes in a report. And then when your documents are signed, they can get automatically stored in your folders, whether it's Google Drive, SharePoint, or even back inside of your CRM and rename the way that you like. If you're collecting data from your signers, the information they enter in the DocuSign form field can also be extracted and synchronized back inside of any of the apps you use every day and don't want to struggle on your own, you can schedule a consultation with one of our document automation consultants using the link just down below. During the call, we'll map out your process and provide you with the best implementation roadmap for your company's unique needs. But if you're more of a DIY person, and you, then I really recommend you download our DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet because it will help you get started with DocuSign on the right foot. Let's get into it. So once you're inside of DocuSign, if you're not using a template, you can go to Agreement, Start, Envelope, and then Send send an Envelope. Once I've uploaded my document, I'm going to add my recipient. Let's pretend that I'm sending it to myself. I'm going to click Next. If you haven't learned how to send an envelope, I recommend you watch my video on how to send an envelope. But let's just see how to then pre-fill this because you don't want your signer to enter information you already have on file. So here you will want to have a text box. We can just double click and we can say ABC capital. And now if we don't want this party to change the content of this field, but just see it, we're gonna check the box read only. And then we're gonna, we're gonna click send. And you will do this for all the fields. That's the uh, first way. So if you're using an envelope without a template manually. Now let's take a look at how to do it with a template. I'm gonna go ahead with this bank information template. And so we're going to click on use the template. You don't want to click on edit. If you click on edit, then you update data in the template. You want to use the template to generate an envelope. And then in that envelope, you want to pre-fill data. So here, same thing. I'm just going to add myself as the first and last signer. And instead of clicking on send, which will send the document completely blank, I will click on advanced edit. And that will bring me inside of the envelope configuration page. I'll click on next. And here I can double click as well. And I can just prefill. So one, two, three main streets. If I want to prefill the state, I can do that as well. I can also prefill checkboxes, radio buttons, but that works for any field. When I'm done, I can just click on send. And again, my envelope is gone. That's it. Now let's take a look at how we can do this completely automatically using an integration. Just take a look at this template that I've got here. This template is a proposal. In this proposal, I want to prefill the date, who it was prepared for, so the client, and then additional information about all the product that this client is purchasing. So as you can see, there's quite a few things that I want to prefill. And I don't want to do this manually in Microsoft Word or DocuSign. It would be too time consuming. So what we can do is create an integration between in this case, Salesforce and DocuSign, so that directly from within my opportunity, I can click on Send Proposal. And here's the document. As you can see, it's been pre-filled. So we have the proposal date, who it was prepared for, the name of the project, the list of all the products added into this opportunity. So that's how powerful integrations are. And I can do exactly the same thing with HubSpot in my company here. Instead of having to copy paste the address inside of my NDA, I can go ahead and click on my HubSpot NDA demo, click on create my envelope. I didn't have to do any copy paste. You see my two fields here are pre-filled automatically. So that's the beauty of integration. 
Now let me show you how to pre-fill web forms and power forms. At this time, you cannot use the DocuSign web app to pre-fill your web forms and your power forms. If you're not sure what web forms and power forms are, those are self-service documents. So you have a template and from that template, you generate a link. That link is publicly available and you can share that link by email. You can embed that link on your website so that your signers can access the document without having to send you an email and send you a request first. And so with web forms and power forms, there's no way for you to click on your web form and fill out the fields exactly like we did inside of the DocuSign template. The only ways to do this at this time is either by API or by URL. And for example, here we have this web form, we have the contractor name, contractor email, and let's just say that we want to pre-fill that because we already have all of this information on file. What we will do is we'll get the form URL and then copy that form URL, and then we'll paste it inside of this pre-filling sheet that you can download for free using the link down below. You can read how it works here. You can watch the tutorial, but essentially we just need to go in here and paste the web form URL in there. Once you've done that, you're going to go inside of your form, click on edit form, and then you're going to copy the name of the fields that you want to pre-fill. In that case here, we have a field called contractor name, but that's not this name that you want to grab. You want to grab the API reference name. So we're going to copy this, paste it here. Same thing for the email, copy, paste it here. I'm just going to finish with address line one, and then I'm going to paste it here and essentially grab all the fields that you have in your form. And each time you want to pre-fill that form and send it to the signer, you will need to enter values inside of this column. In the future, I will show you a video where you can even automate this using the API, but in this video, it will be a little bit too advanced. So now let's just say that I want to send this power form to someone and that someone is called John Smith. So that's the contractor name and then contractor email. Okay, so now we have completed the values that we want to pre-fill in each of the fields. So what we can do is just simply click on that pre-filled URL, copy that, and we're going to test if it works. I'm going to paste it here and here it is. If you want to understand how it works, what we're doing is we are concatenating the form base URL and then we are adding the form field API name, putting an equal sign and then the value that we've entered in here. That's essentially what this web form prefilling sheet that you can download for free does for you. And you can use the same method for power forms. I link the two sheets just down below. If you're a developer, you can also automate the prefilling of web forms using the API. This means that from within Salesforce, or within HubSpot, we can click a button and then all the data will be added automatically to that web form instance using the API. You can read more at the DocuSign developer website, which I've also linked just down below. You just need to um, understand how to format your web form API calls, essentially. If you need help with any of this, don't hesitate to book a consultation with one of our DocuSign automation consultants. We'll work out the best way to implement your DocuSign system and make sure you don't waste time doing mundane manual tasks. I will see you in the next video. And until then, happy signing. Ciao.